word vows and nuggets. For the sermon, Thy will be done as in heaven, ministered by Pastor Andrew Norman on Sunday, June 13, 2021. Luke 11, verse 2. And he said unto them, When ye pray, say, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as in heaven, so in earth. God desires that his will be performed in the earth. But what really is the will of God, you might ask? Simply put, God's will is what he wants. God desires to have many sons who are known different from his firstborn Jesus, but who are just as he was in character and the life he led while on earth. That's right. He wants to populate earth with many more sons of God who have the same nature and operate in the very same character. A nature that is meek and lowly. Matthew 11 verse 29 and character that displays the fruit of the Spirit. Galatians 5 verse 22. As sons of God, we are able to experience the will of God, which is not something we think of as being afar off, but it is prayed out of a position of oneness with the Spirit of Christ himself. We are able to feel and flow with the emotions of the Spirit and pray concerning this. It is also God's perfect will that we make the decision to love Him. He wants to experience our love, coming from Mark 12 verse 30. That's right. God wants us to love Him because when we do, it activates Him and causes all things to work together for our eternal good. Romans 8 verse 28. It is also the will of God that Jesus be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. Jesus and all the rest of the sons of God must experience the same type of spiritual birth. According to the scriptures, Jesus experienced two births, one through the womb of Mary and two being born again or raised up from the dead. This second birth allowed for him to be relatable to all the other sons of God who would come after him. Jesus is the head of the church, just like Adam was the head of the human race. Jesus was the second Adam and head of a whole new race called the sons of God. Colossians 1 verse 18. It is also the will of God that the world through Christ might be saved. Jesus came in the likeness of sinful human flesh and had to experience what it was like to die. However, death has no power over anyone who has not sinned. Death had power over Jesus because he took on the sins of the world. From John 1 verse 29. Jesus was dead in trespasses and sins, so he did not just die physically, but also spiritually. His body was in the grave, but his soul was in hell experiencing torment because of the sins he took on. God, however, did a supernatural operation where he cut the power of sin out of Jesus' body and raised him up from the dead. He did that same operation in us. And you hath he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. Ephesians 2 verse 1 we become a member of the church, the body of Christ, by being baptized in the Spirit. It is by one Spirit that we are all baptized into one body. And the good news is, those who are unsaved can experience that same operation today. God also wants to restore those who experienced this new birth, but got distracted and moved out of place. He wants us as saints to live in the same experience that we received at the new birth every day. God desires and is birthing bodies in this earth that are free from sin, that can be a righteous sacrifice for him, vessels through which he works to extend his kingdom. Mm -hmm.